Great! Today we are planting our topi plant. What is topi tambo, you might ask? Well, if you are from the Caribbean, you will know what topi tambo is. And here is our topi tambo plant. I gotta take it out of the container. So, I got this from a nursery in Florida. Someone asked the question, is it safe? And I believe the nurseries are supposed to do a lot of checking and make sure that they send you something that is legal. So we're good on that. And this is what it looks like before planting. It's supposed to plant it at or above the earth level. So I am going to probably put a little bit of soil underneath. I purchased some extra soil. And topi tambo plants like, um, they said loose gravelly soil, which I don't have right now, but I'm going to put, again, some of the purchased soil in, mix it with some of this other stuff, and hope for the best. It's a root crop, sort of like potatoes. It's too bad I didn't think of it sooner because then I would have put it over there in our potato bed. That is a very up-and-coming potato bed that is also turning into a volunteer greens bed. Because we are not sure where those greens are coming from, but I tasted that one in the corner and that's like wild arugula. You might say, how are you getting wild arugula in Long Beach? Well. I think I started it when I tried to grow arugula and I let it go to seed like about five years ago. And I noticed that there's another piece of wild arugula here and you can see the arugula shaped leaf and I actually took one of that plant off and tasted it and sure enough it's arugula. Anyway, so this, this is topi tambo. It goes into the soil right about now. And I think harvesting is around um, November or December. And then it'll go dormant. Hopefully I can use the same plant over and over again. But I am not sure if I can. So this is this may be a one-year operation or an annual planting. It's a little bit green around here. And over time I'm going to kind of work my way. But I'm like a little square foot at a time kind of person <laughs> anyway so I'm gonna fill up the soil with some um, with mix in the mulch and then put some of the soil back up and then that will be our planted to be tumble then we'll take a little garden tour because we haven't done that for a while right here it is Here it is, planted up. Can hardly see it. It's right in the middle of a sea of other kind of craziness. But that craziness will hopefully give way to good stuff over the next several weeks. We started with the potato bed, which looks like craziness right now because the grass is growing. <clears throat> Where there were grass seeds in the soil. But we have some interesting greens showing up here. And this one looks like a lettuce. And then this one is an arugula, see? And then this one looks like the potato. And then that one looks like spinach. And this one looks like more arugula. Isn't that fun? And, I, and my son looked up and clover is edible too. We got some clover. So who knows? See, look, that looks like arugula, right there, right there, and we have, we have leeks, this is my leek soup garden, leeks, potatoes, and green onions, leek soup garden, we have tomatoes, leftovers from last year, so I'm going to get rid of that, ooh, and this potato, this tomato plant is not looking so good because it doesn't look watered enough. But look, that one has two tomatoes on it. What else do we have? And then, several weeks ago, 
with Jillian, we planted this one, which is coming along very nicely. It took a while. What's, it's not March yet, but that's supposed to yield food by yield food by March 20th. It's coming. And then this one, not as great, but it's coming too. Those don't get as much water, I think. Oh, by the way, these ones I got at the 99 cents store for $1.99. We have repotted the um, peppermint because it was kind of root bound. And anyway, we needed a place to put one of the many tomatoes that I got at the 99 cents store. Here's the remnants of the leek soup garden that we planted with Jillian. You can see the potatoes coming. We planted a seed potato. And you can see some of the green onions. But one of them is gone. And the leeks are gone. Now I, I will tell you that sometimes I believe that we have little critters. I don't know, possums, raccoons or something. But we'll see. And then here I've replanted some of the cucumbers. Cucumbers that we got. Cucumbers. And then these are beans that we planted, not with Jillian, but they're coming along nicely. I love fresh grown beans. <clears throat> and these, I think, are beets. Here is a bunch of lettuce, not looking that great. And these also were available at the 99 cent store. These are colorful kale, which I re later read that they are not that good for eating, but they still can be eaten. Here is some spinach or garlic. Oh, I can't wait to see what that looks like. A few carrots, more spinach, our first bunch of potatoes, a new broccoli plant. We eat these things, these sticks. Ooh, got some aphids. Ooh, they're moving. They're moving, yuck, yuck. Um, definitely, oh, look, going to seed. And what happened to our last little, there's our last remaining avocado from the tree planting. We're hoping that we'll get more avocados this year. Not sure. And what else, what else, what else? I guess that's it, that's it. So there you go. I'll check the date on that first planting season session so that you'll be able to compare and decide whether how long it actually takes to grow lettuces and spinaches, right? So this is a good example. So timestamp this, 227, date stamp. Please subscribe to channel Squiggle Mom, super cute, super cute.